After five full days of processing, we've reached the point where hopefully you've got something now that you uh, at least are somewhat proud of, that you want to share, that you want to um, show to your friends, show to your parents, uh, maybe email to your gra grandparents, I don't know. But today we're going to look at how you export a final product once you're happy with it. Um, obviously there's a ton more you can do within processing, but at least I hope you've gotten a good start now and um, are feeling a little more comfortable with just this idea of programming. It's not it's not really the most complicated thing in the world. We can certainly make it more complicated, but it doesn't have to be um, uh, unattainable. You know, it's something that you and I can do with some relative ease. So, our last step is to um, to post something online that we like. Uh, that's kind of the idea of this, that we can share and grow. So I took our, our sketch from the last session, which was, um, and I added a couple things. Remember, I've got a logo. I got a little bit of text in here. Um, I actually added my image both at the top and at the bottom, and I changed the position a little bit. Um, and I also changed my background color to a nice green so that it would be a little more Christmassy. And... Uh, I also then changed my fill color for that, that rectangle to that same green so that um, instead of putting a semi-transparent white piece of paper over top, I'm putting a semi-transparent green piece of paper over top and it really has that same effect. So hopefully you've, you've realized that by now, but if you hadn't, there's something else you can play around with. And the, the way I came up with the color that I wanted, that 4173.50, if you remember, was I went to that color selector and went, oh yeah, that's kind of a nice green. That's a, that'll fit for what I'm trying to do. So I found that. Um, and so this is what that sketch looks like right now. It's, there you go. It's got the two uh, Christian High logos in there, and then it's got um, this movable Merry Christmas. And so I like it. This is one I, I think I'd be happy to upload, so I am going to close this. And, and our next step then is to export it as an applet. And that's really easily. There's a button for it. It says Export Applet. Uh, we could also come up here, we could hit Control E. It, all of these things will export it as an applet. And what that really does is it creates another folder. So now notice inside our final folder we had our code, that .pde. We had the data file which had our little picture. And now it's got this applet. And within this applet we've got a few different files. The first one here is the, the one with the little teacup is a Java file that you can open up um, without having any of the processing software. So this is a file you could email to your family or friends if you wanted and all it does is runs your little sketch. So there it is. That's pretty cool. You could send that to somebody. They could they could play around with it. Um, you've also got this HTML. Um, if we open that, it opens it up in a your um, web browser of choice and actually it's a local file right now, but this is the sort of thing you could you could easily upload uh, to your own website if you wanted. And it's also got a link here with uh, your source code so somebody could go look at that and built with processing. So you've got that little HTML file. Um, but what we need to do is actually go back up to that final and we need to turn this applet file into a little zip. Um, you'll see in a minute why we need to do that. In fact, why don't we go there right now and, and I can show you why. So openprocessing.org is um, the website. If you haven't been here before, you would need to register, go through the registration process. Um, I'm already in here, so I'm going to log in into my profile. And if I want to upload a new sketch, so I'm going to upload from processing, it's going to tell me that I need to export my application as an applet, make sure index.html is generated, which it was, and then compress the .zip, uh, com compress the applet folder and make it a .zip. So in Windows that's fairly easy. I right click on the applet folder, I come down to send to, and send it to a compressed zip folder. And it creates this little applet.zip file. And now, um, 
I'm gonna give it a title. I'm gonna call it GRCHS Merry Christmas. And now I can browse for that. Uh, let's see, it was under final. That applet.zip. I upload it. And give it a second here for it to load. And there we go. And it's online. And so there's my my little sketch that I created and it works great so I'm gonna save it and now this is on openprocessing.org so anybody could come see this and what's really cool about this is I can um, I can embed it if I wanted to embed it in my own web page or, or something like that I can Facebook like it um, I could of course email the uh, the URL to friends and family if I wanted they could come see my my um, my sketch but also see my code but perhaps the most important thing that we can do and that you're required to do at least if you're in my class would be to come to this classroom page and submit it and come down to GRCHS computer apps and you need to submit a sketch to our page and notice we've got a whole bunch that have been submitted already so you would come here you'd select a sketch that you wanna submit and click there to submit it and now it's part of our um, our page I'm actually gonna go back to that sketch though because there's one thing that's kinda missing here and that's that thumbnail uh, right now it's just that white P on a little gray it's kinda bland it doesn't really uh, tell me a whole lot so I would need to upload either a JPEG or a PNG file fortunately we learned how to create that file not that long ago so I'm going to quickly create a file so we'll call it void, oops, void mouse press and we'll just do a save I'll call it snapshot dot um, I can I'll do a PNG and then that's it there we go now when I play my little sketch here when I got it where I want I'll click play it took a little snapshot tools sketch folder it should have in here now a little snapshot there it is looks good so now I can come back to my online page here I can browse for that snapshot um, it's in processing in my final folder snapshot upload it and now it's created a nice little thumbnail for me so that's how we would do that and now when we go back to our classroom page um, my little sketch has a nice little thumbnail so it's a little more um, a little more presentable so that's what you're required to do if you're you're in my class if you're not I, I still encourage you to log in uh, register with open processing and, and upload some sketches uh, we all learn from each other and this is a great way to be part of that online learning community so that concludes the lessons that uh, we have prepared for you but I would encourage you to keep playing with it don't stop there this is free software you can play with um, anytime you have free time and if you've got problems you can of course go to that uh, reference oops I have the wrong button there so you can go to uh, that reference page it gives you tons of information you can go to um, processing.org uh, use some of their tutorials that uh, their um, they're learning their reference uh, you can go to the open processing that we were just at uh, and look around at other sketches that other people have done so if um, we're here you know you can click on browse you can see what other people have done but take advantage of the source figure out uh, everything that you can figure out and and have fun uh, have fun with it there's endless possibilities here and they, they continue to add more and more possibilities um, as the software keeps getting updated. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I hope you continue to play around with programming and not be so frightened by uh, the thought of having to program 
on a computer.